And the Seafarer poem is part of an anthology of Anglo-Saxon poetry in a book called the Exeter Book, and it's kept here at Exeter Cathedral Library. Do we know exactly how old the Seafarer is? We don't know exactly how old it is. Um, we know from experts that the manuscript as a whole was written down sometime in the second half of the 10th century, say between 960 and 980. Okay. So it's just over a thousand years old. In terms of the, the author of the Seafarer itself, do we have any clues to who that might have been? No, we have no idea. In fact, there's only one named author throughout the entire book and um, the seafarer is not associated with him, so we don't know, which is not unusual. Would it have been a, a performance piece? Would it well, certainly parts of the book seem to stem from the oral tradition, as you say, so that it they would have been chanted, declaimed to an audience. This is the truth. The ways I toyed distraught for days on end. The scribe would have been a monk at this stage, um, a professional writer, if you like. Uh, the parchment itself, which is animal skin essentially, would have been prepared for the scribe before he even started to write. It is, I think anyone would, would agree, a beautiful script, uh, unfamiliar to most of us, but nevertheless a very handsome looking artifact. Well, it's, it's, it's really something that's exquisite and beautiful. I mean, as I said to you earlier off camera, you know, I'm sort of used to looking at musical manuscripts which are maybe two or perhaps 300 years old, but to view something which is in excess of a thousand years old is, is really quite, quite overwhelming.